How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the M2 Motoring YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY video on some of the uh, restoration process of some small plastic parts on the TC and my XB. Um, if you didn't know in the past, I bought and sold some cars, you know, find stuff on a deal, didn't really want to keep it, but I put a lot of time and effort into the cars and at the end of it, maybe, you know, I don't want to keep the car, I drive it and I'm like, yeah, this isn't for me. But in the process, I do a lot of restoration work as well. So for a perfect example, this is my daily driver Scion XB. This is a Nevada, Nevada titled car from the day it was first registered by the original owner. I'm the second owner until now. And it sees a lot of outdoor and Nevada sun over the years. And you can tell here on the cowl, it does have quite a bit of fade. Personally, it doesn't bother me because this is my daily driver and you don't see it when, you know, you're dr obviously driving. But, you know, to clean things up, totally don't mind doing this for the video. And then also on the TC, this panel is faded as well. Not as bad as the XB, but it is faded and can use a little bit of a refresh. And for this product that I use, it's actually this right here. It is called Sam Trim Black. This can be picked up at pretty much any auto body supply store. I was previously backed by this company, not anymore, but I actually went and bought this because I've used this prior to even uh, working with them. And it's been a great product that I've used, you know, over the years on, you know, small faded plastic and trim pieces that are faded or, you know, need some reconditioning. Yeah, I know most of you are probably cringing when I do that, but the paint on the car is sandpaper worthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and show you the process. So before I go, I have to take apart the cowl on both cars and do all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and ready and then we'll go ahead and get started. As you can see, it took me maybe 30 seconds to remove the cowl. I didn't actually break any clips even though I was being pretty forceful with it. Uh, if you saw me stick my hand underneath the squeeze, the clips were pretty soft, so I just squeezed it, popped it, and then before I yanked it all out. This car does not have a wiper motor. Yay. You can probably have to source that or leave it alone, but as you can tell, the rattle can work. Previously, obviously it wasn't thorough and the car was originally white, like I mentioned before. Uh, things to clean up, but for today's video, I do want to just take care of the cowl pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on taking the XB cowl off. So taking this off was pretty easy. It's just like the other car. Um, this was, car was a little bit more complete. So as you noticed, I you know took the wipers off and then you had the cowl. There's you know a bunch of clips everywhere. But uh, fortunately, or fortunately and unfortunately for myself, the previous owner only put in a couple of clips. I don't know if he broke them or never just never put them back when he was doing stuff. But that's okay. I have spare clips in my tool cabinet from various uh, cars because we all know. You didn't do a right job unless you take the car apart and you put everything back together and there's some leftover clips and screws. That's how you know you've done an amazing job on the car. So yeah, this is all out. Everything's good. There is the piece on the floor. There is the rubber strip that I need to remove the clips for on both pieces. Um, after that, I'm going to go ahead and prep the cowl pieces all I really need to do is just uh, barely want to wash them and then rub them down with rubbing alcohol I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it down with rubbing alcohol and start spraying so go ahead and uh, kick back and enjoy just wanted to add this real quick I pulled the parts out in the Sun obviously you could tell they're faded the parts are actually a lot more dirty than I thought they would be especially the TC so I'm actually gonna wash and scrub them down make sure to you know get all that out and then also, uh, when you take off the rubber stripping, or the rubber strip, 
you do want to be very careful with the clips as these cars are you know over 10 years old and the clips are made of plastic so they're a little brittle so with the needle nose you just want to be as careful as you can so you don't break any i was fortunate enough to not break any so pretty happy about that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wash them and i'll be right back parts are all washed and scrubbed really clean as you can tell dry it's very faded for the XB part you can see like it's almost a you know, milky white color but yeah it's gonna give it another 10 minutes or so to dry and then final prep and then we start spraying You can tell by the time lapse it was getting pretty windy. There was no wind for the entire time I've been doing this, and all of a sudden when I wanted to start spraying, the wind picks up and it hasn't gone away. So it made spraying a little bit more difficult, but as you can see here, this is the XB cowl. Everything looks pretty refreshed, just letting it dry. Obviously, when you spray, you want to do you know light coat. I'm just letting everything dry. Everything looks pretty much brand new. Once it's dry enough to handle and put back together, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and put everything back in the car. While I'm watching paint dry, or waiting paint to dry, underneath the cowl, it's still the original factory white. Part of it was not really done too well, but I'm going to go ahead and get that all taken care of while I'm waiting for everything to dry. Um, gonna mask up enough of the engine bay and everything so there's no overspray. Get that all done. I've already vacuumed and cleaned everything up and rubbed it down with wiping alcohol. Obviously can't do a full sanding job and doesn't really need it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and make, try to make it look as nice as I can before I put the cowl back. Have the glass and the areas around the fender masked up with some masking paper and some tape. Again, like I said, I'm only doing the cowl area, the shock towers and the engine bay, I'm doing at a later date. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and get this done. As you can see here, everything's black now, as clean as I can get it. Pretty with happy how this looks. There's no runs or anything, given the odd angles I have to spray at. Uh, clean, cleaned up real nicely. I just used a high temp uh, flat black paint that I had laying around. So I'm just gonna wait for the paint to dry enough to the touch, and I'll put the cowl back in on the TC, and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish with the XB as well. Cowl's back on. Had a little bit of a difficulty getting the uh, panel to clip back in, but everything's back in now. And like I said before, you know, it's all cleaned up. Before, if you looked inside the channels, you could have seen white. Now it's all black and cleaned up. You know, just the little details that I really wanted to do. Next is the XB. Everything for that is dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back together and get it done.
As you can see here, the cowl is installed. Everything's back in with the wiper blades and everything. Get a little closer so you, you can see how it looks. As always, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This is a quick, easy thing I wanted you all to learn, learn and see. Really easy to do for yourself. I do have to dig through my bin of clips, nuts and bolts, and get up, find all the clips that can fit in here and secure it down better. Not that anything's wrong with this. I just want it to be more complete. Thanks again for tuning in. Definitely do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And also drop a comment down below what else you'd like to see done on any of my cars, which is the XB, the Mercedes, or the TC. Have a lot of cool updates coming up for the channel soon. Can't wait to share with everybody. Until then, take care.